Hi, I'm Trisha Rio, Program Coordinator at Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute. Today's hot tip is specifically for our students. If you're a student in ultrasound school right now, or if you've recently graduated, you're probably wondering how this COVID-19 situation is going to affect you in your clinical hours. So we just wanted to share with you some credentialing organization updates that have been posted on the websites. Let's begin with CCI. CCI made some temporary changes in their eligibility requirements, which affects those taking the RCS, RCCS, and RVS exams. This change applies to the 2020 graduates of a non-programmatic accredited program graduating between March 1st and December 31st of 2020. It applies only to candidates applying under qualification prerequisites RCS5, RCCS5, and RVS5. It is a temporary change in clinical hour criteria from a minimum of 800 clinical externship hours to a minimum of 400 clinical externship hours. Let's move on to ARDMS. Currently, the ARDMS has no exceptions to their prerequisite requirements. They are continuing to monitor the situation and are updating guidelines and or policies as warranted. For those in a KHEP accredited program, you need to know that prerequisite two has no hourly and or specific clinical competencies requirements from the ARDMS perspective. So any question regarding what is necessary to graduate should be directed to your program director. And finally, ARRT. If you are taking an ARRT exam, it is important to visit their website as they have temporarily extended deadlines for many requirements. They have an update page, which they are updating regularly, and this is the primary vehicle for them to communicate updates to you. And just as an FYI, the post-primary pathway for the ARRT sonography credential is no longer available as of January 1st, 2020. This is not a COVID-19 related change, but just something they did for their primary and post-primary pathways. Visit their website for more information. So that's it. Those are the updates in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic and how they may affect you and your eligibility to sit for your registry exam. Happy scanning.